Hey guys, it's Dash here from Ropa. Uh, I'm just going to do a little mini exercise session for the Parkinson's patients that take part in the Move Fit class. Hope you guys are doing well during lockdown. So today we are going to start off by doing a little bit of seated exercise, a couple of stretches and then some standing exercise. And we'll go over some advice at the end to get through lockdown and try and get into good habits, etc. Okay, so see how we go. Yep, you can continue. Okay, so firstly, I've just got my list here of exercises, but we'll get started. The most important thing is to stay big and make sure that you're loud as well. So we'll start off by having our hands out in front and just spread the fingers apart as much as we can and then back and then squeeze and then back and back. And we're gonna do 10 repetitions of this exercise. So just focusing on opening up the fingers, open, open, open and back and open 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 and all the way back and open make sure your shoulders don't start dropping off nice and big okay and stop if you lose count make sure that you count each repetition as well and if you're going to count it's got to be nice and loud okay that's the first exercise you want to do about 10 repetitions of this one Okay, next we are just going to try bringing the foot up. Okay, hopefully you can see my feet. And we are going to make circles with the toes. So each circle is one repetition. So let's go 10 slow and steady repetitions going anti, no, it is going clockwise. And once you've done 10 going clockwise, go 10 anti-clockwise. Okay, so you're trying to warm up the ankle joint and use all the muscles in your feet and ankle and lower leg. Just making a nice slow movement. Make sure you're not going for a, a tiny movement. Make sure it's nice and big, lifting the toes and down and in a circle as much as you can. Once you've done 10 both ways, try it on the other side, okay? So let's go again. Very good. And just make sure that you focus on using all the muscles in the leg and the foot. You can try and point your toes to help you. Excellent. Good, my ankle's a little bit clicky. That's okay, as long as there's no pain going along with that. Next, we can try once you've done 10 on both sides, sitting on the edge of the seat, holding on to the armrest, marching on the spot, nice and big. Okay, lifting your legs up nice and high. So I've started off, I'm actually touching the floor very softly. Increase the speed so you really get a stomp onto the floor. Stop, stomp, stomp. You can start counting. So we'll count to 20 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so next we're just going to work through the neck range of movements. What I'd like you to try, slowly point your nose over your right shoulder. Just looking out that way. As long as there's no pain, that's it. And then slowly back and then all the way over your left shoulder. Again, you're trying to look for a one-to-one -one range of movement. 
If you have any pain, numbness or anything, any other feelings down the arm or at the neck, avoid that movement please. Okay, very slowly. And then let's try nose up to the ceiling and chin down to the floor. And again, you can try five repetitions of each of these movements. And good. The other one we can try is slowly and steadily holding on to the armrest, making sure we turn the outside shoulder really get that torso twisting a little bit avoid if you had any back problems but ideally we're trying to stretch out the torso so it's not as rigid good and back and you can try and hold for a few seconds as you pull the shoulders in and back and in. that's it okay all right. all right, so we'll start with some strength-based exercises and the first one we're going to do is everyone's favorite, okay, with a chair against the wall, okay, for safety so the chair doesn't slide back, arms out in front, okay, nose over toes and standing up nice and big, arms going as far apart as they can, okay, really stretch out, stretch out and then slowly nose over toes and sitting back down and I want you to do 10 of them and count loudly to 10 1 down and 2 and down and 3 and down and 4 and down and 5 and down you can just repeat that again okay all right next exercise we will try having a bench works well but another way to do it so need the legs for this one is to have maybe a chair or something holding onto the back of the chair and slowly going up onto the tip of the toes okay and down so i'm just going to show you from the back going all the way up onto the tip of the toes. You want the weight to be going through the big toes, so you really feel it in over there. So you're really going up, 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 and all the way down. And up, 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 and hold, and down. If your balance is good enough, I want you to try and go up and down. And up, and down, and up, Ooh. and down. Again, I want you to go for 10 repetitions of that exercise. Next thing we're going to try, turn it from the back, holding onto the back of the chair, side steps, back, side step, back, side, back, and side and back side back side back safety is key if you can get a fixed surface something like this bench okay or a kitchen bench top at home that would probably work the best with these set of exercises one last thing you can try while you're sitting down in the chair back straight Straighten out the knee as much as you can. Feel the quadriceps, that's the muscle on the front of the thigh working. And down, and then the other side. So try and hold for five seconds. You can count out slowly to five. So one, two, three, four, five, and down. Okay, what do is the calf stretch. Holding on to a spare bit of wall. I'll be using the 
cabinet thing over here. We're going to go one leg in front, other leg behind, okay? And as if you're pushing a car, bend the knee at the front, keep the back knee straight, both heels flat on the floor, and slowly lean forward. Okay, and you'll feel that stretching the calf muscle on the back leg. And again, you want to be breathing in and out. And let's go count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? And repeat that twice on both sides. Excellent. Next is a little bit of a few tips when it comes to walking. Try and do as much walking as you safely can. If you don't feel safe going outside, just walk in your own living room. Okay, and if it's not too big, like this area over here, just practice in whatever space that you have because walking is one of the most important things and it's something we focus on in the Move Big classes. And I want you to focus on really making sure that you get that heel toe movement, okay? Nice and big, and then striding out and turning. Okay, and arm swing. Now, you'll notice that I'm avoiding sharp turns. That's a good way to get the toes all mixed up and you can have a fall. So, if you're turning, either turn nice and wide or slow down and take a very big stepping turn. Okay? okay. Alright guys, so last thing I want to go over is a little bit of advice especially during the lockdown and the pandemic. Um, probably the most important thing for us, I guess, is you want to try and be as active as you possibly can. And it can be difficult, because I know a lot of you guys do a lot of walking outside, okay? Going all around the eastern suburbs, practicing your walking in case I'm looking out for you guys, okay? Uh, but I really want you to focus on trying to keep a routine. What I mean by that is if it's difficult to go out walking, at least try and do your exercises at a specific time during the day, whether it be after breakfast or before lunch. And if you find it difficult to remember, all I want you to do is open up this video every day before lunch and just go through the exercises, okay? And maintain what you can. Okay, it's very easy to lose focus and discipline because there's so many things happening and you feel like you don't know what to do next. Two most important things, make sure you are eating on time and secondly, taking your medications. Okay, make sure you're taking your medications on time. Um, with the added stress of lockdown, it's not uncommon to have certain other symptoms jump up it's okay if it happens just make sure you take a nice big deep breath in note it down and stay safe so it's very easy to get into bad habits use family members to check that you're doing the exercises correctly try and be as loud and clear as you can when you're talking okay it may be annoying for other people to hear you talking loudly during exercises, but it's very important for your overall health that you are loud, you are as big as you safely can be, and make sure if you have frequent falls or you're not feeling confident about doing a movement, don't do it. Safety is key, and I don't want you to have a fall while you're attempting an exercise that I'm not there to guide you on. So there's been a couple of movements I haven't done here. And I, and I had to think of most of you guys when I did this particular sequence of exercises. 
hope you guys are well okay stay well if you have any queries or questions just send them through to movewell at warfare.com.au and you know i'll get back to you in a minute okay and stay safe